get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow! G'day, lovelies, and welcome back. Alrighty, today is seasonally cold, so I've decided to bake a cake. First thing we need to do is preheat our ovens to 150 degrees Celsius. It says on there a 22 centimetre deep spring form tin. Now I've got a 23 centimetre one and I don't know how deep I was talking. So what I've done is I cut out some baking paper. So you put your, your thing on your baking paper, trace around it and then cut it out a bit smaller than the line. Put a little bit of butter in and stick it in the bottom so it stays there nice and good. Cut a few strips of paper, make sure that they're like nice and high off of it. I'll write the recipe below as always. Now we've got a medium saucepan. I've got 250 grams of unsalted butter chopped up and put in there. I then had to get 200 grams of white cooking chocolate. I'm just using the chocolate melts, but any cooking chocolate will do. And chop it up. So we want to add that to the butter. Now we want to add two and a quarter cups of brown sugar, firmly packed. So when you're measuring it out, really push it down. <laughs> Made a complete and utter mess everywhere. All right, I'm just mixing that in a bit just so it falls down a bit. Now we want to add one and a half cups of water. Now we want to stick it on our stove top on low and we want to melt it all down together. And once it's nice and smooth, take it off. Okay, got it melted through together. Now we want to pour it into our large bowl. Really? Freaking hair. Got it. Wow, I'm surprised I've seen that without my glasses on. <laughs> okay, into the large bowl. Set a timer for 15 minutes now. We want to let it cool. Alrighty, that's almost cooled down enough. So now we want to get three eggs into a bowl, preferably a small one, and we just want to whisk them up with a fork and set them aside for a minute. So we need to get out the plain flour and self-raising flour ready to go. Now normally I would use vanilla extract, but this recipe actually says vanilla essence. I think that's because it's so old. And back then we didn't have vanilla extract, or if it was around it was probably for the rich. But um, I can't get vanilla extract at the moment, so I grabbed a vanilla essence the other day and lucky I did. So we're going to need vanilla extract or essence. Alrighty, she's ready to go. So first of all we want to whisk in two cups of plain flour. All right, so just put a bit in, whisk, put a bit in, whisk, you know, and keep doing that until we're doing two cups of plain flour. Now we want to whisk in two thirds of a cup of self-raising flour. Oh my God, mate, I can't stress how awesome that smells. Okay, now we want to add our three eggs and our one teaspoon of vanilla essence or extract and then whisk them through. Pour her in there. Oh, yeah, baby. Alrighty, now we want to bang it in our oven. Oh mate, it smells amazing in here. It took exactly one hour and 35 minutes in my electric oven and I didn't have to cover it. So as you can see, I've already tried it a couple of times. So you can just get a skewer and stick it in. And if it comes out clean, she's ready. Alright, now we just want to leave it sit there for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes later. Wow, that's still hot. Caramel cake does take a while to cool down because it's caramel, it just stays hot forever. All right, unwrap the sides. So you can just put it on a cooling tray if you want, but I love doing it this way, I do it with all the cakes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put some baking paper over the top and a plate, and as I slide it, I'm gonna grab my tea towel and slide it under and pick it up with my tea towel. Flip it over. Get it in the center. I don't know, when it comes to mug cakes, I believe they should be flat cakes, not like high and rise. That's why I like turning them over as well, flattens them out a bit. All right, once we've got that in the center. Just gonna grab a spatula thing, but you can use a knife for anything you've got. And I'm just gonna go around and press in on the edge and just loosen up the edge bit where there isn't any baking paper. Then you just gently peel off your paper. 
All right, and now I'm gonna leave it exactly like that to sit there and cool down completely to cold. All right, it's been about an hour and it's still warm, but I'm gonna do the ganache now because hopefully by the time it's ready, it will have been cooled down completely. So now we've gotta get roughly 300 grams of white chocolate. If they're only 295 or 280 gram bags, that's fine. And we wanna chop them all up. Alrighty, once we've done that, settle aside for a minute. We need to get a small saucepan and we need to put half a cup of thickened cream in there. We wanna put it on the head heat, uh, medium heat, and bring it up to the boil. As soon as it goes to boil, take it straight off. Okay, it's just gone to boil. All right, now we want to pour it in over our chocolate. Now we need a wooden spoon, so I don't have a wooden spoon, but I've got one of these things, so I'm just going to use the end. If you don't have one, you don't have one. I mean, I've done it plenty of times with um, a metal spoon, but I don't know why. For some reason, it does seem to work better with a, a wooden one. All right, we're just going to keep stirring it until it's all melted in. Once that's done, and we've got it reasonably smooth and lacquer so. All right, now what we're going to do is bang it in the fridge. Oh, it's been in there for 10 minutes. I reckon it's got another five to go. Okay, for the cake, grab out another plate. Oh, shit. Put it on top, flip it over. Take the plate off. Take off our top. All right, we're ready to go when the ganache is. All righty, five minutes later and we're cooking with gas. So just decorate it now. So I like pushing it down over the edge, and then I'll swoosh it around. Oh, so I didn't do it on camera, but I just brushed off all the loose bits that were on the paper, from the paper. Once we've covered all the edges, just dump the rest in the middle. And do your thing. Alright, I'm going to bang it in the fridge exactly like that for an hour for all the ganache to set. Oh, it's going to be so hard for you to see. So what I forgot to say is when you go to serve it, leave it out the fridge for 10 minutes or so, so it can soften up at room temperature first, because there's chocolate and that in it. Oh look, I just don't know if you can see that. It's, it's just, ugh. well thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles!